Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 13 of Let's Play Saviors of Sapphire Wings. <sighs> Just blowing some ash from my keyboard. Let's go ahead and turn the volume down a bit here. All right, so last episode made some really good progress. Um, exploring the demonic forest. Uh, leveling up the soul gauges as well as leveling up our characters in general. Let's head to the marketplace. See what we can equip here. Foreign Tonto attacks two times. Kind of a foreign blade. Um, elven ring. Wind element. A magic ring made of the elves that increases special defense and spell defense and increases intelligence. It's 2,500. Enchanted ring. Oh, did I make a mistake throwing that into the furnace? I don't know. Maybe. I might have, must have thought it was something less impressive. Let's see here. Um, get you a magical tunic for 2,600. Uh, Boost swears magical power. Oh, she's got the apprentice clothes. Easy to move in. So I think the circle is better than the plus. That'd be an upgrade for her. Magic wand allows you to escape battles. Battle staff unleashes a radiant attack. That says she's in the front row, I guess. Magical hat. A hat that enhances magic. Boosts wears intellect. Raises spell attack. Kind of thinking about that, but let's see what else we can use. The thorny lash. Um, magical tunic. Chain ball. Stone of Magic Dagger. Oh, didn't I pick up something like that? Ah, uh, but my game crashed or something, I think. Use with a magic furnace, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get you something, I think. Let's see, that increases spell defense, intelligence, and luck. Magical tunic. Um, the magical hat, though, infects spell attack, intelligence, and good against spirit. That's rank D. That's rank D. Might be a better bet. Go ahead and get you the magical hat. Yeah, let's get you the magical hat. And, um... Can we at least get you... No, we can't even get you gloves or anything. Okay, so let's just... Wait a minute. You're using a thief's plume? Yeah, I gave him the thief's plume, okay. Let's go ahead and save, and we're gonna head back into the, uh... Force entrance. More luck. All good to go. Let's get her done. What is this? Question mark right off the bat. Wait, our base attack should be assault slash now. Oh, and she should do, uh... Dang. Um, Wizard Bolt. I wish you'd conserve magic more, MP more. Beautiful Feather, Smoke Bomb, Holy Eric Copper. Oh, tree ant. 
where do we wish to go? Probably the Dole Bois. The Dole Bois. Settlement ruins. So be it. Close your eyes for just a moment. Okay. go down this way. This way. So let's try our luck. Um, hopefully we can kill them quickly. Oh, Wizard Bolt is attacking multiple enemies. Spell Shroud, something decreased. We have to kill this thing quickly. Um, attack, 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 attack. I guess it's safe to throw a firebolt at it. That was casting Spell Shroud to lower our hit. 135 GP, Gold Era Copper. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Immediately with another one. Attack, 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 attack. Um, I don't want to waste that magic. Two-handed tree, really. I mean, two-handed tree. This is a two-handed tree, but that two-handed weapon, two-handed sword, really rocking well. Um, an assault slash. I could just hit F here after picking assault slash. There's a two double wizard bolt. Number 17 GP level up for Verone. Um, let's go ahead and level up. No, let's level up her agility so she acts quicker with that healing. HP by 15, MP by 2. Empower or avoid. Learned. Some kind of rotting corpse. More beast meat. That's been the common thing with fighting the rotting corpses. This may be where we want to be. First of all, let's go ahead and use have Rone throw a potion on Burgo. That looks good. Vegetables, root vegetables, and tea leaves. I don't think this is it because vegetables. Continental vegetable. Consom soup. We also have to start eating with the squires more often. It will add up. Uh, let's throw a continental vegetable down. To a fight here. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. Come on, get into a fight. Hmm. Guess I'm not going to get into a fight. Wink, wink. Wow, we've walked a long way without getting into a fight. I don't get it. There we go. Oh no. Okay. Um, attack, 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 attack. 
Wizard Bolt is fine. Oh, Carson's been knocked out. There we go. 64 GP. Let's see if we got a Chimera. I hope we did. Let's throw a potion on... What happened to our other stack of potions? I don't know. Dryada and a buzzing sound. Let's take him down quickly. I should use more of our round abilities. I may learn the hard way here. Okay. Let's go ahead and put up a magic veil. Attack, 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 attack. I guess it was a firebolt. Another magic veil. An F. We hit with a wizard bolt, though. Clothing and shoes. 154. Lumi gains a level. Uh, guess strength. HP by 18, MP by 3. Capture the Dole Bois of Ruins. And nothing, no Chimera. Let's come back this way. Head back into the demonic forest this way. We didn't go this way. Animal trail between the bushes. Special flower. Should be able to kill it in one turn. There we go. Kind of dominating these woods, pretty much. Creature Slayer rank four. All right. Now let's do some work here. We need to go this way. Head up this way. Oh. Beast meat and bird meat. Okay. Let's put a beast meat down. Save. This might be it. Otherwise, I don't know where else to go, really. I mean, there's probably still some places we haven't been, but... I 
like going through the when it's like a tunnel. It's pretty cool like this. Just a straight line. Monster attack. Nice, did anyone a piece? Sweet. 72 and a bird leg. There we go, this has got to be the Chimera, right? It's not. Magic Veil. Salt slash attack, 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 attack. There's a bolt. Simple enough. Hammer, that's interesting. 52 GP. Wheat flower. Capture the demonic forest. Control complete in Murloc. Alright then. Looks like we've crushed all the traps in the demonic forest in Dolbois, right? But while doing that, we never ran into the Chimera. Where could it be? Ooh, what? Aha. We have found it. Dang. Oh no, something's here. We've got company, do we? Yes, it's the Chimera. So it's come. Master Carson, your orders. Demon trap. Um. It's magic veil. Level 19, I think we can get by with everybody attacking. And you casting a mass cure. And then I figure this thing is a wind enemy, so... Maybe Earth Bolt? Now we're full health. Only 55 damage. Venomous. Oof. Let's go with Magic Veil again. Um, attack, 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 attack. Another mask here, and let's try maybe. Maybe it's an Earth enemy, Firebolt. Yeah, Elf Mask here did knock it off in time. And I did not see what... Um... Firebolt did, but let's try it again. 43 damage only. Let me dodge the attack. Okay, attack, attack, attack. Mass Void. Um, Wind Bolt? Is it a water enemy? Oof. Burr goes down. Attack, attack. Attack and Earth, uh, Ice Bolt, maybe. Oh, we got it. Chimera has run out of energy. Wow. Oof. Phoenix Feather, 418 GP. Right, we finished it off. Whew, that was a difficult battle. It met a tragic end, a fate far too cruel. 
for one known as the king of the forest. Indeed, the fault lies within the person who drove the chimera to madness. <laughs> I suppose that would be me. Uh, who's there? Show yourself. Fine, but not because you told me to. <clears throat> oh, who are you? Ha <laughs> ha, what an energetic child. My, I can hear your blood coursing through your entire body from here. Ugh, oh, what a creepy woman. You over there must be Carson. I'm glad you're a better man than I expected. Do you know who I am? Um, pretty lady. I don't need you to remind me of that. I'm a higher species who survives by sucking blood. You people like to use the term vampire. But still, I never imagined you would kill the Chimera. You people are very strong, as my master foretold. You did this to the Chimera? Yes, that beast was in my way. So I made it go slightly insane. I was only fulfilling the wishes of my master, Lord Almadel. My master dwells in the darkness. However, not even he can defy the Overlord. So, your master's name is Almadel. Hmm, what exactly is an undead like you doing in this forest? Ha <laughs> ha! I have no interest in vulgar places like this. However, I had to bring in this land into the fold of darkness for my master's sake, no matter what. Ah, yes, Carson. Do you know about the altar of the spirit god? I don't. Ha <laughs> ha, I thought not. The altar of the spirit god? The, the spirit god? Do you mean the altar of Phoenix? Could you not interrupt our conversation? I have no interest in talking to dogs. Uh, what? Oh, sorry. I was so distracted by your chrome dome, I didn't hear you. Why, you little bitch. Hey. Ouch! Back off, Ravone. Why should I? She insulted me first. Just shut up. Ahem. Why are you asking about that? Do you intend to offer your prayers despite being a vampire? No, I couldn't care less about that. However, Carson... It seems someone is waiting for you in that specific location. And now, I'm done talking. In the Elven Sanctuary? Who? Ask yourself that. Goodbye, Knights of the Round. The voice fades off into the distance. Chuh, what a creepy woman. No kidding, and don't forget Rude. It was her fault the Chimera went crazy. In the end, all this is the Overlord's doing. On the bright s oh wait. On the bright side, we've successfully fulfilled Zenuda's request to defeat the Chimera. Shall we return to Erlinda's here? Um No, not yet. I see. However, there is still the case of the altar, though we ought to report to Lord Vindor as soon as possible. Lumi, I understand how you feel, but this is Master's decision to make. Ch true, but in any case, we'd best be going. We should not linger here for very long. Let's complete Chimera's end. Don't we have to... Perhaps... Go back. I should have used high cure. To the orc, uh, where Zenuda is? I think he was in this one. Got explosive. I mean, pretty sure we explored the whole forest and all. 
except perhaps here. Let's come back here. Wow, that was pretty wild and wicked and cool. Vampire, someone waiting for us. Okay. If we exit out and head this way. Aha, we haven't gone up this way. And the trail between the bushes. Ah, special flower, continental vegetable. Very nice. Bum, bum, ba, da, ba. Okay, let's go see what Zenuda. to say about this. I guess he's not here. Oh wait, this isn't... Zenud is not here. <sighs> Where's that tree that takes us around places? Right, Zanud is not here. He's right out here. Hopefully no more battles because I don't know if we can really survive too many more. Oof. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and Flash escape, even though there's a chest and all. I think this is the exit. Yeah. Ah. I smell its foul blood on you. I assume your hunt was successful. Chimera's blood stained deep into the earth. These roots have no choice but to absorb it all. State your business. Leave. I am finished. Away with you. Let's at least go report to Ganuda, right? Who's somewhere around here? Ganuda might give us something. I think he was up in one of these. Although I don't know if we have to return to him. Ah. Yikes. Flash escape. Hmm, I guess, guess we do go through this way. Come back here. Zenuda's right there. Save. Just want to see if he gives us anything. Mm, happy to see. You all killed lion. Tree told me. Forest is saved. No more lion food. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. Well. Guess we should do what the game tells us to do. It makes more sense. Cherry clothes, high leather boots, and a war hammer. Interesting. Let's save here. Um, 
Sir Carson, you've returned. How were things? You explained that you fulfilled Zenuda's request and successfully defeated the Chimera. I see. So, even the Chimera. You've done very well. Thanks to your efforts, the continued spread of these disturbances has likely been prevented. While it is not intended as a reward per se, I will have an associate deliver GP to you later. Make use of those funds during your coming battles. But, Uncle, I cannot help but recall what the vampire had told us. What precisely was it? Hmm, the altar of the spirit god, correct? Continue to listen. West of Verlandetir lies Lake Galadin with its crystal clear waters. There, beneath the Isle of Sanctuary, is an ancient site built by our ancestors, a place known as Yinsirin. Yinsirin? Is that the location of the altar? That is what I've been told. Upon that altar rests a small stone, a one bestowed upon us by the Spirit God. A stone? What sort of power does it possess? I do not know of such a power. All it contains within its walls is a simple stone. It is referred to as the Liarith. The Liarith. A word meaning sacred stone. But, Lord Vindor, were it truly not but a stone, then why would it be sought after? I cannot say. However, it would not be unusual if the Overlord was aware of some secret we were not. I will tell you how to get to Yin Siren. You must confirm the truth with your own eyes. A sound logic. Then we shall do just that. Sir Carson, I do not know what, precisely, that vampire had told you, but do you possess the resolve to face your past? The past is only the past. Even so, the past still deeply affects our present, although it is not in a position where we may interact with it as we wish. Yin Sirin is a land of ritual. There are areas you may not access without a priestess. Have Eltha accompany you there. And take this sword as well. Got a sword, elven blade, sweet. It's a magic blade which can even pierce spirits. Many such monsters reside there. Do use caution. Now able to travel to Yin Siren. Begin quest, the Forgotten Sanctuary. 3,000 GP. Um, I don't think we have to call anybody. Yeah, let's go ahead and have some eats. Um, let's see. Sweet things and milk. Okay, we can have milk with you. Vegetable dishes. Bread. Milk, bread, vegetables. Wine. And meat. Milk, bread, vegetables, wine, and meat. Okay, let's see what we can cook up here. Um... Monster milk, we can make a milk. Milk. We'll have noble spread. Bread. Oh, we can make gunpowder grass into explosives. Um. Might as well make some chocolate. For sweets. Um, wine from a grape. And what was the last one? Meat. Another baked meat. One second, guys. <laughs> Chocolate can make cocoa, which recovers 30 to 50 HP. We'll just go ahead and make and use these. That's good for now. Oh, let's um head to the magic furnace. And Elven Blade we're gonna keep. Warhammer. 
Soldier's Warhammer. I don't know. We'll check it out. Circlet throw in. High leather boots made from sturdy leather. We'll check them out. Okay, that's it. All right. So you are milk. We'll have some milk with you. Hey, master, can I come in? Going to eat. Sour monster milk. And we're going to have milk. Saul glances down at the cup the milk is in. Whoa, all right. It's milk. Thanks for always treating me like this. Saul uses all of his focus to savor the taste of the milk. Oh, man, that hit the spot. So I take it the better food. Okay, see you around. Raises, uh, raises it more. Sweets and vegetable dishes. Let's just have some chocolate with her. Pardon me, master. Elta sits at the table, hands clasped in prayer for the meal before her. We're having chocolate today? Let us show our gratitude for the lives that granted to us. Granted it to us. Now, shall we eat? Health of Soul Gate is increased. Ooh, five points. Smith. Now, if you'll excuse me. Um, I want to see what the noble's bread does. Yeah, let's have some bread with Verone. Master, it's Verone. I'm coming in, okay? Roni is sipping on the contents of her keg. Well, well, noble's bread, hmm? Seems you're quite the connoisseur, aren't you? Today's a great chance to really let loose. What do you mean? Um, isn't it obvious? Or do your eyes not perceive the wonders of my keg? Heh <laughs> just messing with you. Come on, let's drink, drink, drink. And so the merriment continued on and on. Roni's soul gauge increased. Wow, 15 points for the noble spread. Well, see you later. She's a little drinker, that one. Lumi, sweets and wine. Okay, this should be pretty good, too, because grape is pretty rare. Master, it's me. I'm coming in. We can't eat with her? Oh, I can only eat so much. Right. Ah, okay, well, we'll eat with her next time first, and then Virgo. Yeah, I can't just spam eating. Let's see how long we've been going. 36 minutes, we can play a bit more. Um, Forgotten Sanctuary, Sanctuary. Okay, um, let's go land on the surface. Head to the marketplace to sell. Comfortable fur for 81, beautiful feather for 64, four rare claws at 49 apiece, two excellent fangs at 36 apiece, two shiny shells at 25 apiece, gold scraps for 320, silver scraps, two of them for 170 apiece, 440 for god era copper, wow, 120 for god era copper, that was god era gold, um, Two holy era coppers for 64 and a lapis lazuli, a gemstone far beyond normal market classification. Well, it's just treasures to sell it for 900. We have 7,900. We can buy pretty much whatever we want a kind of foreign blade, beheader. I guess it will behead. Hmm. Oh, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff on that we were given. Let's see, Elven Blade can attack spirits. Um, raises spell attack and can cause sleep. Doesn't say anything about attacking spirits. Oh, that's because there's no X there, so it hits everything. And it raises intelligence. Um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and wield the Elven Blade. I 
I would have you wield the two, two-handed sword, but that lowers your defense so much. So does Warhammer. The high leather boots for Alpha. Made from sturdy leather. Oh, she can use the Warhammer, but it's short. Dang. See, that's why I was training her for the front line. A little bit. Ah. Uh. Yeah, go ahead and put on the high leather boots. You... Use the two-handed sword. Nobody can use the war hammer. Well, I can use the war hammer and give the elven blade. Yeah, let me use the war hammer. Give the elven blade and trust it to Saul. I think that works. You can throw that stuff into the furnace. But let's go ahead and hit the marketplace for any equipment we might need. Um, Hunter Spear's even better. But Lumi could use that. Um, longbow. Alright, let's just get out of... Let's look at all items. What's the Grom boots? Used by Elite Knights Races Agility. 6,800. Elven boots races intellect and HP. Let's see, you're using the Elven Blade, but what about armor? Um, you... Elven robe gives you one hit, one more raises your avoid, which is good. Magic robe worn by elves. Dang, special defense, spell defense, and raises intelligence. 6,800 though. Um, you. I can get you a chain ball hard. Yes. Instead of the war sling. Elven ribbon. Magic ribbon made by elves. Raises special defense and intelligence. Elven bracers. Raises intelligence. Get you a chain ball hard. Buy an equip. Chain ball hard. Oh, you could have used the hunter spear. Two-handed sword. I don't have any gloves. Can we get you? Love embracers now. Mm -mm. Use some more pistols. Pistols. Potions. about all these freaking ingredients what it's ultimately going to add up to doesn't tell us how many we own angel mirror prevents the effects of a demon's vase once yeah I don't know high potions we have five potions left one high potion so let's If I hit mass buy, it's going to buy all of them, right? One, two, three, four. Regular potions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have seven antidotes. Um, and this Phoenix Feather, Feather that revives a dying ally with 1 HP, it doesn't take effect right away, but so it can be administered in battle. We can't buy them. Q 
chicken saute. <clears throat> okay. Um, crystal that repels magic gold seals and displays the minimap. Allows you to see your location from the minimap even in areas where such information is normally hidden. That's interesting. Stone of magic uses a magic furnace. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna hang on to the rest. Lumi can use a longbow. That'd be better than the chain. Oh yeah. Better hit, worse avoid and defense. And I think it's good enough upgrade for her from the back line. Alright, that's pretty good. We'll save some money and I'll see save some stuff for next time in terms of heading to Yin Serin or whatever that place was. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Hope you're enjoying. Um, yeah, Yin Serin. Yin Serin. Yin Serin. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying the LP and enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciate you for doing so. Much love, peace, and joy, guys. Much more to come. Stay tuned.